Okay, I'm working on these hood fasteners for the Massey. These go on the top center lid, and it's a it's some sort of Zeus fastener. Can't seem to find these in the United States. They seem to have them in other countries as replacements, but I can't find them. Uh, the way this attaches, there was this double-sided, I think it's aluminum kind of flange washer that this would go in and then you use a tool to press up on the bottom and it flares the bottom of it to capture this in. So this will actually be attached to the hood flap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these uh, plastic nylon washers and I'm going to use one of these as a spacer to keep this off the, uh, the fresh paint. I'm going to put this back through on the hood and then I'm going to mark wherever the underside is and I'm going to cut a groove in this on the lathe and retain it using an e-clip. At least that's the plan, so I'm going to give that a shot and we'll see what it looks like. So here it is out on the tractor. These are the holes that it goes through and then the Zeus fastener clips onto that wire inside there. So we got our nylon washer, that's going to go through like that. Then I'm going to have a nylon washer on the inside. Then I'm going to mark this here where the eclipse is going to go and then I'm going to uh, cut the groove on the lathe in this part and uh, snap an e-clip on there. That should retain it. Basically all I need to do is have this so when I open up this top flap this piece doesn't fall out and smack my new paint. So we'll see what we can do. Okay here's my latch piece and I marked the line where the uh, e-clip needs to go and then this is the e-clip. I'll measure the distance between these grooves to figure out how deep I need to make my groove on here for this e-clip to clip into. Okay, what I did right there, my parting tool was set too low. So, if you use a metal roller, you can sit this in here, and you can see if it's leaning this way, it's too high. If it's leaning back, it's too low. So, I got it set now where it's more or less vertical. That'll center you up with your parting tool. Okay, it looks like that should be it. So now this E-clip snaps in there and that'll lock me on. So I'll have a nylon washer on either side and then the E-clip snapped on there. Let's take it back outside and we'll put it on there and we'll uh, see if it works. And then if it did, I will do the uh, same for the other side. Okay, as you can see, nylon washers and the E-clip is installed. Looks like it's working okay. Now if we close it. Now it's latched on nice and tight. That's just what I was looking for. So the nylon washer sucked down tight. This is going to work perfectly. And then it stays captured, doesn't fall out. Alright, I'm going to go do the same for the other one, and then this project will be done.
just like that, another one's complete. Real simple project today. Okay, they lock down nice and tight. Kind of tops off the hood. I painted them with that chrome spray paint. We'll see how long that holds up. But uh, for now, that'll do until I can get some uh, replacement ones.